We've got some, hopefully, we're going to have some breaking news this morning because Oof. an American woman uh, looks set to become the first person ever to swim the English Channel four times without a break. This is Sarah Thomas. She started her swim in the early hours of Sunday morning. Uh, the route should have been a mere 84 miles long, but strong currents mean that 37-year-old who had treatment for breast cancer last year swam 130 miles. Wow. And we're going to look at the live tracker um, right now. And you can see why um, it's been... So, so it's 84 miles if you go straight across, but you can't go straight across because of the currents. That, um, so she's, I mean, she's gone way off. Way, way more than yeah. um, 84 miles. Um, I'm sure we'll get exactly how many miles um, she's been, but just at the top of your screen, you can see just that little red dot. She's obviously um, turned left. Bleeping. About she's, an hour maybe, Yeah, maybe she can see the, suddenly see the shore. <sighs> um, and fingers crossed... Um, she will make it in the next... Uh, we're here maybe the next five minutes or so, but um, as we say, the currents are quite something. So it's an incredible feat. Absolutely incredible. We're hoping to speak to her, Sam. And no wetsuit. No wetsuit, just um, swimming just costume. Just cosy. Goggles, yeah. and that, The reason for that is you can't, you're not allowed to, are you? Yeah. you can't no. wear a wetsuit for an yeah. official... It's the rules. <gasps> incredible. What have you done for the last two days? <laughs> <laughs> not that. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Sorry, don't pick on me. What have you done? Well, no, 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 I'm saying, saying, <laughs> you know, the collective we I was using there. Yeah, um, all of us. We're going to talk... Yeah, I'm just ignoring me, moving on. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did do a swim on Sunday. <laughs> Hang on, you did a race on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. it involved race. a swim as well. I haven't been for a swim for yonks. Really. <laughs> a long time. That's I easily fixable. I get a very, I got a very small feeling about what it might like be like for her. You're sort of going over the waves and you can't see where you're going because they're so big. Oh, anyway, scary. Anyway, so she's done an incredible thing. I'm, uh, I'm completely transfixed now by reading uh, the rules for swimming the channel. Oh, go go on, then. Oh, come on, this is a good sign. She's going to do it. What, what do you need? It's quite it's very um, strict, isn't it? Well, I mean, all sorts of things, but um, and they are very they're very serious rules because unless you obey these particular rules, oh. um, that you won't they're from the you, you won't be allowed. It won't be kind of um, registered. Um, for example, um, you're only allowed a swimming costume, a hat. You're allowed a nose clip um, and a hat and a hat and goggles. Okay, uh, the hat shall not offer thermal protection or buoyancy. <gasps> the observer will have to approve the costume and the cap. Obviously, uh, the swimmer must make sure their costume and cap are of an approved type before starting. If not, they will, the swimmer will not be recognised. The swimmer will not be recognised. And um, for multiple crossing to be officially recognised, the swimmer must, as soon as their it says his their feet <laughs> <laughs> touch the ground, la the ground land as directly as possible, and then must return immediately to the water, where they can stand or sit for up to ten minutes. During this time, they must not be touched by any person, but Good may Lord. be handed food. Grease, medicines, or swimming apparel to be <laughs> like some food or some grease. Yeah, what would you, what would you like? Yeah, I know what you'd go for. Oh, definitely. So hang on, yeah. so they've then got to apparel. sit in the water. They can rest, but I only think they can... in the water. Yes, yeah. It must be freezing. Um, and then they must, with the, in agreement with the observer, make the most direct and reasonable way towards the water deep enough in which to swim and commit swimming. It's amazing. Can I do... During the swim, finally. Sorry, I'm so excited. Right. Can you tell I'm really excited it's by this? Right. I'm trying to do my but, interested face. Finally. Uh, during a swim, no physical <laughs> oh, contact stop. with the swimmer shall be made by any person. So they can't get in the boat, they can't oh. touch the boat, they can't touch anybody. By any person? Could you get an oar and let them hold it? Yeah, no, they can't hold the oar. Can I just do oar. my story? Yeah, no. go on. No. I, I, go on. Go on. I like this right. story. You better hurry up. She's going to land soon. I, We're going to speak um, to her. Um, oh, she's, she's done it. done it. Apparently. Apparently she's, she's touched land. <laughs> Absolutely Finished. brilliant. We were just talking to fill the gap. No, we, I was not. Go to, Sarah go Thomas. Uh, We've got some go live on. tracker action. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, 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 there was a bit of it. Oh, there she is. That's what we've been told. <laughs> I'd love to. Who's confirmed? Can you tell me who's confirmed that in the last couple of minutes? Hi, live oh. tracker drama. Wow, 54 hours and 10 minutes of swimming, and she has crossed the channel, swum across it four times. The first person to do so. Wow. Hopefully, once she's had a bit of a feed, we're going to have a chat to her later on. Sarah Thomas, do you think, do you think she's going to be able to talk after all of that? I think she needs a hot chocolate first. Absolutely incredible. Huge, huge congratulations, Sarah Thomas. I know you can't hear us, but well done. And Kevin Murphy was on the boat as one of the official observers. Um, it doesn't account unless it's official. He's also swam the channel 34 times himself, and he joins us now from Dover. Very good morning to you. First of all, how, how is she doing and how, how was the swim? It, it, she's remarkable. Uh, she's just come out uh, and uh, she, she not, didn't even feel cold. Uh, and uh, Absolutely amazing after that time. I'm just going to... We've got a bit of trouble hearing you, Kevin, but I'm going to continue. 
with this. Is uh, that um, got... who are we looking at now, Kevin? Uh, you're looking. Yeah, you're, that's better. <laughs> okay. You were looking at the lady Suzanne, who's holding the phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to carry on. Um, so tell us about conditions, and and this is historic. What she's done is, isn't it? Yes, it, it is a, a triumph, really, and, uh, and she has tested the limits of endurance uh, beyond all measure. Uh, 54 hours, non-stop swimming. Uh, she started uh, in the early hours of Sunday morning and uh, now has uh, finished back here after four widths of the, of the channel. Uh, it, it's actually unbelievable. Not only for the the time that, um, that she spent in there and the distance that she's covered, but the speed at which she did it. Uh, there, was, there was never any uh, falter. She, uh, she kept her stroke rate at about 62 all the way. Uh, the first crossing was, what, 11 hours, 38. The, the, the others have been 12 hours on. And uh, it's uh, absolutely amazing uh, to watch it. It's inspirational. Uh, at the end, we were very emotional. You talk about inspiration. I mean, you've swum the channel, I think, something over 30 times yourself. Just give us an idea, because I've been reading the rules today. What then? Then nobody's allowed to touch them. What other rules and regulations are there? The rules are uh, you start with no water beyond. You start from the beach with no water beyond. Uh, at the turn, uh, nobody's allowed to touch the, uh, the swimmer. Uh, at the turn, they have 10 minutes to restart swimming once they've uh, got back in the water. Uh, at each turn and uh, again at the finish nobody was allowed to touch uh, Sarah until she had cleared the water and, uh, and uh, had actually completed this swim. And is, is um, it official Kevin just very briefly is it official she's done it? It's a oops, I've, uh, it would be official if I could uh, if I could uh, hear you yes um, uh, yes it is official uh, it has to be ratified by uh, a committee uh, who read all the report of the reports of the swim and all the details? Uh, but I, I'm here. I'm the secretary of the Channel Swimming Piloting Federation, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, she's done it. Excellent, Kevin Murphy. Um, it's great to talk to you, despite the slight technical difficulties. Thank you very much indeed. Good on him. And a big thank you to Suzanne as well there for, for holding the phone. We made a little snapshot of Suzanne. I think someone pressed the. Uh, because a swimmer, Sarah Thomas, has become <laughs> the first person in history to swim the channel four times she joins us now wow morning sarah congratulations how are you feeling i'm really tired oh. and i'm losing my voice from all the salt water um tell us about it because it was over 50 hours how tough was it what was the worst bit probably dealing with the salt water over four days or two days it really hurts your throat and your mouth and your tongue Oh, oh, I can see. Um, and just tell yes. us, how, how did you get through it mentally? Because it takes incredible uh, stamina and endurance to be able to do that. It really does. My crew was really great about helping me out and helping me stay strong. Sarah, it really is an incredible achievement. It's Dan here in the studio as well. And we were, we were hearing that, you, that the actual swim was due to be just over 80 miles, but because of the strong currents, you've ended up swimming about 130 miles. Were you prepared for that before you started as well? I was. I, I knew what to expect from the currents and the weather and the, and the cold, so I was very prepared for the amount of time that I was going to be in the water. And just tell us a little bit about what you've managed to eat and drink along the way, because fueling is so important, isn't it? Yeah, it's very important. I use a maltodextrin product called Carbo Pro that my team throws to me in a water bottle mixed with electrolytes, and that's what I ate most of the way. Um, tell us what you saw on the way as well, because I know obviously lots of it is in the dark, lots of it in, in big waves as well, but what did you notice along the way? Yeah, um, the channel's actually pretty clean, so I didn't see a lot of garbage or trash, just fish and a lot of jellyfish. And Sarah, what's the plan now? We were, we've been following you very carefully this morning, as, I, as have our viewers. We, we heard that you've been stuffing chocolate and champagne since you finished here. What's the plan for the rest of the day? Are you going to try and sleep somewhere? Yeah, I hope hopefully I can sleep the rest of the day. I am pretty out of it and pretty tired right now, for sure. It just seems so amazing. How do you even stay awake for that long? Presumably the water keeps you awake. Yeah, the water keeps you awake and then 
some of the electrolytes I have have some caffeine mixed into it. So that helped quite a bit to keep me alert. And Sarah, just to explain to us, that feeling once you've, once you've finally reached land and, you, and you've done it, who was there to, to greet you? Are you, were you? Were you sort of in tears? Were you elated? What was that emotionally like to finish? <laughs> I was really just pretty numb. There was a lot of people on the beach to meet me and wish me well, and <clears throat> that was really nice of them, but I feel just mostly stunned right now. I just can't believe that we did it. You certainly did. Um, is it true you've been, you've been celebrating with champagne and M&Ms? Um, I tried a little bit of champagne. It didn't go down very well. <laughs> and I have been eating some M&Ms. Oh, we can hear that your throat is sore. Listen, you are absolutely amazing, a real inspiration. Congratulations and go and have some rest. You really deserve it. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Hey, Sarah Thomas, who, if you've just switched History on your maker. television, uh, she has swum the channel four times non-stop, uh, about 130 miles in total, even though it was meant to be about 80, but the strong mm. currents she was telling us turned it into an even more epic feat than it was when she started. I bet everything tastes like salt she's at the moment. Still, she's still listening to us. <laughs> Bye-bye, Sarah. Oh, she's stunned. Um, so am I. Well done, her. I've just spoken to Sarah Thomas, but um, if you missed the news this morning, she has become the first person ever to swim the English Channel four times without a break. She started the swim on Sunday morning. The route should have been 84 miles long, but strong currents meant the 37-year-old, who had recently been treated for breast cancer, swam more than 130 miles. Her unofficial time was 54 hours and 10 minutes, and we spoke to her, what, just a few moments ago, and she said that she was stunned, I think it was, wasn't it? And frazzled, yeah. Stunned and frazzled. And she can't, she's, it's hard to talk. Her, yeah, her she's tongue got a, is like being affected by all the salt water. She's got a sore throat. I mean, as you can imagine. Uh, but huge congratulations to her and uh, all the team as well supporting her too. Then we're going to play a bit of that into you a little bit later on if you missed it. But, um, <sighs> I feel exhausted just listening to her. Yeah, and we spoke to that fellow on the support boat earlier on, didn't yeah. we, as well? Yeah, official, um, he was an official observer. Yes.